What's up guys? Good morning. It's good to see y'all again, but uh, I am not having the best day. Um, I'm sure you've all been here before, something like this has happened, but uh, well, today's my day. A um, little backstory. Today is Wednesday. Uh, Monday I took a day off and actually went and got a bumper. I traded, a, uh, I traded the ranch hand brush guard that I had to a friend of mine, and uh, I drove about three hours to get a, uh, a buck stop bumper. A uh, guy wanted to trade me $500 and my stock bumper for a $2,250 bumper. So, yeah, I had to. I couldn't I couldn't let that offer go. Um, I had to go. He's le He left yesterday for Louisiana. He's going to be gone for a month or better, so I had to get it that, then and now. So, uh, that trip went um, decent, I guess. Um, well, you know what? Before we get into that, let me just show you what we got here. Um, this is the bumper. It's the uh, out back series I think it is or outlaw one of the two um, it's a winch bumper uh, the guy had a winch but he sold it separately which is fine put one on it and I'm gonna, I gotta get these lights hooked up maybe change them I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with them yet got a receiver on the front um, it's heavy uh, they're supposed to be over 300 pounds and uh, yeah it's every bit of that so that's the new bumper uh, we'll get into more on that later uh, today's not really about that um, but here's what it's about so we made a trip uh, about an hour to see the friend of mine um, got the brush guard all taken care of and all that and he's happy with that it went smoothly um, and uh, drove from there uh, three hours to South Alabama and about the time I got to uh, the town where I was meeting the guy um, I got the low coolant message on my truck not really a big deal been getting it for I don't know a few weeks now at least uh, just have added a little bit of coolant at a time um, been going through a little bit it's been about I don't know a half a gallon a week or something like that it's been I mean significant but nothing nothing like this so I it was low I mean the reservoir was almost empty so I filled it up with the coolant I had and um, we finished with the bumper got lunch and then left and less than an hour later I got it again I was like okay, okay. I must not have gotten it full I figured there was an air bubble or something and you know yada yada so I stopped at the truck stop got some more coolant threw a whole gallon of coolant in there and it filled up. It didn't throw the whole gallon, but I mean, I had almost a whole gallon. And it filled up. I let it run for a minute to make sure there were no air bubbles. So got to driving. Um, about an hour and a half up the interstate, I got it again. Like, oh, okay. So at this point, I had nothing else. I threw some water in it and kept going. Less than an hour later, got it again. So I got this message four or five times in the same day. And I was to the point I was adding water. I was stopping at PetSmart and stuff like that to get water. Um, because I was out of coolant and I was I couldn't spend fifteen dollars a, a gallon anymore um, so yeah that was uh, that was fun so get home next day it's low on coolant I throw some in there figured I might as well and um, I was wondering where it's going there's no leaks there's no nothing well let me set you guys down well this is what I discovered I took my dipstick out and I don't know how much it's gonna show but that is some milky oil right there. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. There's water in that oil. So, and it's way, way overfilled at this point. So, my water has been going into my oil pan, which is not good. So, parked the truck yesterday. Had to figure out. Luckily, my girlfriend's got a got her mom's car now, so we actually have another ride. Um, but yeah, something was something was very wrong. Um, I got to researching it. I'd, I'd heard a little bit of problems I think I was having a water pump issue to start with and um, so that's what we're on to today we're changing the water pump on this thing um, there's two 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 things that can cause this bad water pump bad head gasket I know which one I would rather have um, I don't think it's a bad head gasket because if you look right here this hose is completely collapsed um, it is soft it is pliable if it was a head gasket you know leaking pressure into the coolant system this would not be soft that would be rock hard so I'm hoping that it is a water pump you know we're gonna try it um, so that's what you're gonna see today that's what I'm gonna be doing today um, into the parts that I've got I uh, I would have loved to wait waited and ordered a, a merchant pump or something like that but I went to uh, I went to Advance, and if you order online and pick up in store, you can usually get a 20-25% off coupon. Got a CarQuest um, pump. Now, a little bit into why this can happen. So, usually you'll see oil in the water, um, but occasionally, occasionally, 
7.3 going by. Occasionally you'll see it the other way. It's not unheard of. And what it is, it's a gear driven pump. So it runs on the gear train, obviously. Um, you know, on diesels, there's a gear train in the front of the engine that runs all the accessories like this. And um, there's a seal in the middle here. That's the water pump side, that's the gear train side. And then that seal over time will leak. And um, there's your weep hole. And I haven't seen much out of the weep hole, so I'm kind of confused on that. But that seal will leak and it'll allow pressure one way or the other. So there's the new water pump. It's got all the gaskets in it. Um, this is another tool you're going to need. It's actually an axle nut socket, but it's a 12.36 millimeter, and you got to have that to get the crank pulley off. I can't quite remember why you have to have it off, um, but I'm sure we'll find out. So you got to take all this crap off. You got to take uh, probably move the AC compressor out of the way. You can just unbolt it and move it. Um, so yeah, it's a fun project. I've already got the grill out. Um, just to give me a little more access up there and yeah so stay tuned enjoy this project because i sure as hell am not I'd say now is as good a time as any for an update video. So um, I've been trying to fight to get to this uh, this radiator hose down here. I don't know if you can see it. I got a lot of sunlight here. So this is the intercooler, but right here is that bottom radiator hose. And uh, actually, there's not a lot to get to it. I just took the air box out, took the air box stuff out. Um, I had to take the cold side pipe off. Um, probably going to take the alternator off, get it out of my way, take that off, get the fan shroud out of the way. Then I'll be able to get to the water pump. So we've gotten quite a ways with this thing. Got everything out of the front of the engine here, uh, all the fan and stuff. Now we're at a unique part of this, and that's getting the crank pulley off. Um, you have to get that pulley off because the water pump bolts are actually behind that balancer, and uh, it can be uh, it can be interesting. So uh, we're going to try an old trick because I don't have the uh, flywheel locks, and that is taking a wrench as so, and I've got it uh, hit hitting the frame right here I might actually have to put it up a little bit better but it's hitting the frame I'm gonna get my girlfriend out here and turn the engine over just boom hit it and um, try to hopefully break that loose uh, it's gonna be interesting if it works if it works it's gonna be great if it doesn't work stuff's gonna break so uh, sit back relax and uh, enjoy whatever is about to happen all right hit it like I told you I think that did it. That looks a lot better from this angle. Ugh. All right, so what you saw there was the uh, hard slash uh, easy way to get that crank bolt off. Um, it is not easy to get off. That thing is very, very, very tight. And uh, you can get a, a flywheel lock for them, but I did not have them have one. It is a 12 point 36 millimeter bolt right there, right here. And you see now it just threads right out. Nothing to it. Uh, getting that balancer off might be a little more aggravating, but that bolt is the first step. And um, like I said, I just put the wrench with that socket and a big old pipe up against the frame and got my girlfriend to turn the truck over. Just, you, you heard it, it was just a little bump. Uh, and uh, just let the truck do the work. So uh, that's a big old washer. So um, a lot of people recommend changing these uh, when you take them off. Um, the only way I'd change it is if I have an ARP. I don't have an ARP. I'm not ordering one right now. So it's going to go back on there. But if, yeah, I know how to take one off now. But uh, So now the next step is get that balancer off, then get the uh, water pump off.
Great news, I got it off. Uh, not a fun process by any means. And uh, my shirt sleeve is now soaked. Uh, but this is what it looks like, housing and everything. Um, as you can see, uh, maybe if the camera will show it, there is watery oil all over the inside of this thing. So uh, there's three bolts here to pull this housing off. I'm gonna do that real quick if I can find my wrench. So I'm going to pull, it's just 12 millimeters all the way around. Ah, very tight 12 millimeters, but 12 millimeters. Ah. Ah, this thing's been on here a while. Still cooling in it, but... So these three hold this pump to this housing. And uh, we'll take it apart and see what it looks like here. Ooh. Ooh, that's what I was worried about. If you look at there, I need a new housing. That is chunks missing out of this housing right there and that is not a good sign. So I'm gonna have to find one to pick up. All right guys, so uh, yeah, it's been a it's been quite a while since I've talked to you guys about this water pump. Um, when I did it, that was uh, the very end of October. Um, I, it is now the middle of November, so it's been almost a month, I think, since I uh, actually did all the work. Um, I had a lot going on. I had a family member that died, and I had uh, got sick and everything else. So it's just I'm sorry it's been so long. I knew I was planning on cranking this out. I've got several videos in the works right now that I want to get out, so uh, just bear with me. I'm sorry it took so long, but here we are. This is another day. Like I said, it's about a month later. I'm done with the water pump. I got it fixed. That turned out that was the issue. Uh, the water in the oil is, is no more. Um, and um, so my coolant, I haven't added coolant since the day I finished the water pump. Um, if you want to look right here and see, that baby is full. In fact, probably a little too full, but it is hot. So, you know, the truck is hot. Now, uh, now into what I was going to talk about here. I had to order a new water pump housing, as I'm sure you remember from the, well, five seconds ago. But I don't know if you're going to even be able to see down in there. Anywho, so I had to order a new housing. Um, I was going to go to Advance or Auto Part, AutoZone, something like that, and buy one. Nobody sells it. The only place I could find one was GM, but they sold the water pump and the uh, housing as one for about $500, and there is no way in hell I was paying $500 for that. So I had to order this. I ordered the water pump and the uh, housing from dmaxstore.com. Great place to find parts. Um, and yeah, their customer service is great. They shipped it out quick. It took about a week to get here, but you yeah, know what you're going to do. I didn't pay for extra shipping, so. Uh, but they shipped it, I think, the day after I ordered it, so it was real quick. Um, and it got here, um, and right before I went to put it on, I had to go down and deal with family member that died, and then I got sick right after. So, you know, it's been this whole process of just getting it back together. But the truck is back together now, not using coolant. Oil looks fine. I changed the oil twice. Um, if, you're gonna, if you get water in the oil like this, uh, I had a friend of mine who recommended taking some kerosene or some diesel fuel and just pouring in there, leaving the plug open, just letting it drain down, and it'll get that water out. Um, and then uh, I did a cheap oil change, just twenty dollars as cheap as cheap as I could find, and then a couple hundred miles changed it again with the good stuff. Have had no issues with that. Um, truck's running great, so uh, I know I didn't have any footage of uh, putting it back in, but it's the same process as taking it out. Uh, just put everything back, um, and yeah, that's all there is to it. So uh, please like the video and subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.